Oh my god, that's the world's biggest fly. What the frick? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I've said that. Wow. Today, you read the title, you know what's going on. We are doing a smoothie talk. We are back for episode two. I'm really excited. Um, we have a lot to talk about, starting with my pink hair. But first, today's smoothie is from Wawa. Today I got a peach smoothie. Or no, I didn't get a peach smoothie, ew. I got a mango smoothie. I've never had a mango smoothie from there before, but I have my reusable plastic straw. Ew, it has a hair on it. Today I have my reusable plastic straw sponsored by Hydro Flask. No, I'm kidding. It's not sponsored. Let's try this. I've never had a mango smoothie. I've only had their strawberry and then the strawberry banana, so. Not that bad, actually. Let's catch up. We have so much to catch up on. First things first, I've been meaning to film a smoothie talk with not just one, not just two, but three different friends, and they canceled on me last minute. So that just shows you how reliable my friends are. Just kidding. Oh my god. No tea. Anyhow, my hair is pink. Why did I dye my hair pink, you may be asking. Well, here's the reason. I turned 18 June 3rd, and I was so excited to turn 18. I was like, I'm gonna get a tattoo, maybe I'll get a piercing, I don't know. I was just gonna go crazy, cause it's my 18th, you know? And now that I'm 18, I'm technically a legal adult, even though my parents don't consider me a legal adult. My parents both said no to getting another tattoo, which stinks, but at the same time, both my parents are paying for my college, so... <sighs> At least until I'm out of college. And then when I'm out of college, I'll be covered in tattoos and nobody can tell me what to do. Sorry, I got off into a little rant there. So pink hair. I got pink hair because this is something that my parents can slightly agree on. I've already gotten my hair bleached a lot. You've already seen all those videos. My dad's not a fan at all. He does not like it. And my mom, she's a makeup artist, so she's around like, you know, like the piercings and the tattoos and the hair and She's fine with it. She just wants it to be, like, not over the top. So I went out yesterday, and I got semi-permanent hair dye that is supposed to last for about 15 washes. And considering that my hair is basically brown, it actually showed up pretty nicely. Um, my hair is very long, too, so it took a really long time for me to fully cover it. But I will show you the footage right here of Lucy and I dyeing my hair yesterday. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm here right now at my local Rite Aid about to pick up some pink hair dye. They only have one pink left. Crap. <laughs> All right, so I'm back from Rite Aid. As you saw, there's only one box left of Colorista Pink. This one, so I got this. And then I got this, and it's called, it's called Schwarzkopf Got To Be. <laughs> no, look, Schwarz, Schwarz, Schwarzkopf. Comes with three different colors, purple, pink, and red. I'm not sure if my hair is gonna be light enough because Colorista is saying that it can't be darker than this. And my hair is definitely darker than that. All right, so it looks like I have to rinse my hair. All right, so my hair is wet. I mix together the darker pink with some conditioner so that it doesn't come off that vibrant. It still looks pretty vibrant though, so I'm a little nervous. All right, so I think it's basically damp now, but it's really long as you can tell. So, oh, it's gonna take so long. I'm not sure if the pink is gonna show up, so I might just do dark pink everywhere and then do only light pink in the front. What if we did that instead, Luz? Like, look. It's your hair. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so watch. You're gonna take like a thin section like this. No, like this. And you kinda gotta like rub it in like between these four. I told you, I have a lot of hair. All right, so I am on my last strand of hair. It is right here. My sister had to leave because she is not feeling well. And she had done a majority of my hair, and so I was just like, you go, girl. You do you, boo. This is my last strand of hair. And after this, we have to wait 15 to 20 minutes before I rinse all of it out. I love it when you call me, senorita. I wish I could pretend I did. 
Didn't need you. All right, so now we wait 20 minutes on the clock. Okay, the timer just went off. I have my shower going in the bag. It is time for me to wash this all out. I will see you next with my dry pink hair. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I blow dried the tops of my hair. Um, in three, two, one. Ta-da! I have pink hair! This is so cool! Okay, I'm sorry. But I think this came out really well. Again, I only dried the blow, like the tops of my hair. But it kind of like... I think it looks kind of good. My parents are going to say otherwise, but like... I think my hair looks good. Look, it's pink. This is what I've wanted my entire life. Like, girl, I wanted to have pink hair since I watched that show Lazy Town and that girl Stephanie had pink hair. I am going to let this dry and maybe try and style it and take some pictures. But head on over to my Instagram and you can see the picture that I posted. So yeah, let's go back to Smoothie Talk Layton. Peace out. That was fun, wasn't it? The last video I filmed was my David Dobrik vlog. I actually posted that video the day that I drove down to Corolla, North Carolina. It's a tradition that a lot of Maryland schools do and a lot on the East Coast. They do a thing called Beach Week, so after your senior year of high school, you and your friends would like rent out a beach house or whatever, and you would go down to the beach and just stay there for a week and do what normal high schoolers would do at the beach party for my school we rented out two houses in Corolla North Carolina one for the boys and one for the girls house and our house was ginormous there were 15 bedrooms in this house each bedroom had its own ensuite plus we had a movie room a pool like an, a rec room we had a really oh my god ew, ew, ew. oh my god there's a wasp oh my god oh. honestly looking back it was a lot of fun I really enjoyed it like during it I was kind of like oh my god I'm so sick of it because the boys were being really annoying, if I'm being honest. Looking back, I actually had a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that I went. If you hop on over to my Instagram, you can see a picture I posted. None of my family members like the photo because I'm basically naked in it. So after Beach Week, I came back home, and the next day was my birthday, June 3rd, and I celebrated with my mom and my sister, and my mom took me out shopping. But after that, so Lucy had school for another two weeks, because I got out May 13th, and Lucy had school until June 14th, I believe. After I came back from Beach Week, I basically just picked up my sister and my carpool Olivia every day after school. And some days I would work at Rita's, some days I would work at Nordstrom with my mom because now I'm working at the Nordstrom E-Bar. If any of my friends are watching this, please come say hi. I actually really do like people like coming over and say hi. Like my friend Will, oh my god, I've been friends with this guy, Will, since 6th grade. But we really started becoming friends in 7th grade when he asked me out to the middle school dance and I said no to him. I rejected him in front of his friends. And ever since then, we've been like BFFs. Will and I, we don't talk every day, but like when we do talk, it's like no time has passed, which is really fun. And um, yeah, I love him. He's my best friend. And he came and visited me at the mall. He was like, hey, I'm getting my phone fixed at Apple. Like I thought you were working and so I wanted to come say hi. Isn't that so sweet? Like, oh, I love Will. And then I've seen like a couple other people. They haven't come up and said, hi me, you know who you are. And then I did performing arts camp at my school. I lost my voice very badly. I could not physically sing, which I'm supposed to do because it's a performing arts camp. But this year, I had 21 seven to nine year olds. They were all entering either second or third grade. I'm actually babysitting a few of them coming up next week. But yeah, I've been working a ton already this summer. I was working four jobs last week during performing arts camp. I worked performing arts camp, which was from 8.30 until 3.30 every day. And then I babysat this girl in my neighborhood, Olivia. And then I would either go work at Rita's from six to close, or I'd go work at the Nordstrom E-Bar from four to close and so it's been super crazy and i ended up quitting rita's which i kind of regret i love working at rita's everybody there was so nice if they were to pay me minimum wage or give me more hours like one of the two i definitely would have stayed and like tried to work it out but nordstrom they're giving me a lot of money and i get hours there so 
lot. But overall, I really enjoyed working at Nordstrom with my mom. I'm not gonna lie, look, though, like right now, like looking at my viewfinder, like it's actually kind of good lighting. And my hair looks really pink, and I'm really happy about that. This episode of Smoothie Talk does not have anybody featured in it like my last Smoothie Talk because, again, most of my friends actually canceled on me last minute every time I was going to film a Smoothie Talk with them. And now that I'm looking back, I am so glad that it happened because, you know what? I don't need them. I'm doing perfectly fine without them here, in my opinion. If any of you guys keep up with pop culture, you would have known that Shawn Mendes just released a new song and music video with Camila Cabello. They are my OTP, one true pairing for any of you guys who don't know, you know, acronyms. GWI, get with it. My camera has been sitting in the sun and it is burning hot. Ow, 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 ow. All right, so we changed locations. I think I'm gonna stick to strawberry smoothies from now on at uh, Wawa, but this was a good try. I don't really know what else we could talk about. I don't really think you guys are interested in the guy I'm talking to, so... Okay, well since I'm done my smoothie, I guess we're done smoothie talk! I don't think I've ever vlogged with this camera yet on my channel, but I got a vlogging camera! Isn't that so fun? If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up, or whatever. Subscribe down below, tell your friends, or, yeah, wait, what do I usually say? And other than that, I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you whenever I next post. Roll the outro music. Oh, I forgot to post for a thumbnail too. I'm just gonna... Alright, thumbnail. Wait, here, I should put it back here.